All right. So anyway, uh, let's just keep rolling with it. I will keep my eyes. Okay. Jennifer says the audio is better. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. All right. So let's keep rolling. Uh, as I said before, we're utilizing the two different cameras and I do have, as far as an audio source connected to the Osbot Talent, I am using the Rodecaster Pro 2. So if you guys don't know what that is, let me show you here real quick. So here is our Rodecaster Pro 2. Yes, excuse all of the wiring. This uh, desk is set up for my normal standard stream. So this morning I'm having to kind of like reroute things over to the talent so that I'll be able to connect all the different devices to the talent, including the audio from the Rodecaster, the two cameras that are currently connected to it. And also my computer is connected to the um, to the talent, which is this uh, MacBook that you guys see right here. Normally that's connected to this monitor, but I'm actually using this monitor um, on the talent. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I can just switch over here. And now you can see what is standardly on that, uh, on that screen that we're gonna be using as well. So yes, you can connect multiple, multiple things to this device, guys. And it works just the same as if you were using uh, a, a variety of different other uh, devices. All right, <clears throat> so let's get to our experiment. As you guys can see here, uh, I am in the Laser Packer Studio Suite. And what I need to do here is first figure out where my mouse went. I should be able to just connect to the laser. <clears throat> All right, so now technically we're connected to the laser and the next thing that we need to do here is go up under settings and we're going to use our slide extension. So I'm gonna click on that. And now that is connected. And then we can just close this dialog box. In order for this to work, the way this is gonna work is we have to measure the size of this hatchet that we're gonna be working with. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure uh, the thickness of the hatchet and pretty much the length of it. And we're just gonna create a box, okay? So within that box is where the laser is just gonna kind of go back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to uh, be able to hopefully remove all of these uh, rust and everything off of this hatchet. So we'll see how that goes. If you guys don't have one of these digital calibers and you're using a laser or 3D printing, I'm telling you guys, get yourself one of these. These things come in really handy. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hit preview so we can see um, you know, what this is going to look like uh, on the laser and where it's going to line up on the laser. So let's uh, set that up. So here's the laser right here. I may have to elevate this this uh, hatchet a little bit just to make sure that it's level. So we'll worry about that here in a second. But first and foremost, I just want to make sure of where the laser is falling uh, on this device. So <clears throat> let me scroll down here. Be using our uh, 1064 nanometer laser that's at 100% power, 100% depth, and we're going to try to do maybe two passes on this. One, let's just do one pass to start just to see what it looks like once it tries to clean it. We may need to do multiple passes, but for now, we're just going to hit preview to see where this is falling at on the laser. All right, so I'm trying to adjust this so you guys can kind of see what's going on. There we go. All right, so I can see where the mark is here on the paper. And that's our starting point. So I want to be able to line this blade up where that when that trends, you know, when it goes through, it's going to go all the way to the edge of the uh, blade. Now, it's a good chance we might need to make that just a tad bit bigger or wider. So let's try that. Now, I have not focused the laser or anything like that. The only thing we're trying to do right now is to see uh, where this is going to end up. Okay, so we can see that it goes all the way to the end of the knife, as you guys see right here, because of the fact that I removed the enclosure for the laser, I will have to wear you know these laser glasses, even though this is a fiber laser. And a lot of people are gonna tell you with a fiber laser, you do not have to wear glasses. Don't believe that. Trust me guys, protect your eyes. You only have one set of them. You don't wanna take a chance of losing your vision. So I have two different ways that I can focus this laser. One is this uh, 3D printed, um, little focusing tool and the laser also has built-in focusing lasers 
that you can actually bring together. So when you're focusing, those two lasers will come together. When they make one dot, then technically the laser is in focus. So uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the red dot is on the screen, but we're just gonna use this right now to actually focus the laser. So to do that, I'm gonna have to raise the laser up. And I'm gonna move this forward first. So bring it back down. All right. So technically, that should be in focus. That should be in focus right there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this guy down. There we go, that's pretty close. <clears throat> All right guys, so let me know uh, what you're seeing and what you think so far. Hopefully this video and audio is coming through um, nice and you guys can hear everything that I'm saying, see everything that's going on. Again, this is an experiment, guys. I'm just testing again the Osbot talent and a few of the Osbot cameras that I have here in the studio for testing. And I decided this morning, since I was gonna go ahead and do my son's uh, blade anyway, this would be a perfect opportunity for me to do that. All right, so now we do need to level off this knife so that it is at the right height. So let me do that. I'm gonna try to level this off. And I'm also gonna check, and I'm also gonna check the focus again, just to be careful, just to be sure. Okay, so let's run our preview one more time. All right, that looks good, guys, that looks good. So let's go ahead and roll this guy. Let's go ahead and start it. All right, so let's just go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, continue. And we're gonna set our laser up. It is in fill mode. All right, so it's going to line up the, um, the, the uh, hatchet, and then it's going to start to engrave on it. So pretty soon, guys, we're going to be able to see if this is working just based on if uh, any of the debris is coming off of this laser. Yes, I know I have my uh, glasses on, you know, <laughs> looking like Ray Charles up in here. Y'all know what I'm saying. Now, if you guys missed our stream last night on Amazon, it was pretty interesting. Most of it was featured around the uh, Osbot talent and some Osbot gear, but I did also throw in a lot of streaming gear that you guys might be interested in. You know, of course, microphones, audio interfaces, lights, cameras, different things that I would use on a regular basis. All right, so I'm gonna take my glasses off real quick just to see. All right, so, so far, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you guys probably can't see this as well as I can, but I'm gonna try and get this camera a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm seeing. And is that camera in focus? Yeah, it should be. This thing is so far from what I can see here, doing an excellent job. Now again, I'm running this at 100% power, 100% depth, my goal is, is to remove as much, much of the rust off of this as possible. And uh, yeah, it seems to be doing an excellent, excellent job. Now, to finish this off, I would probably still run at least a second pass on this. But, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do the one side so you guys can see what this looks like. So you guys can see the difference so far in the hatchet or the cleaver. I always want to call it a hatchet, but the cleaver. So you guys are seeing that right now in real time what this laser is able to do. And for those that might pop in here at the last minute, this is the Laser Packer 4. And I'm using the uh, fiber laser feature of the Laser Packer 4. And we are cleaning a cleaver that had a lot of rust and debris and stuff like that or pitting on it. So we're going to see how um nice we can uh you know make this thing look i made this a solid box so that it would engrave the entire uh knife and clean well knife or hatchet or whatever you want to call this thing but anyway it's almost done so let me set this camera up so you guys can see a little bit better all right let's see how this comes out from this to this from this to this. I'll post some photos uh, later showing you guys what this looks like, but I just wanted to go live this morning, do some testing, 
uh, you know, record this uh, live stream and also um, demo some of the cool features of using something like the Laser Packer 4 uh, for things that you may not right off of the bat, you know, think about that you could use a laser like this for. So this is going to be excellent for like cleaning tools. You got some old rusty hammers and hatchets and screwdrivers and stuff like that that have a lot of debris on them or rust on them and you want to be able to clean those up. This is an option. And you can also engrave some cool designs on this afterwards, which I will probably do on this hatchet after I'm finished with it. All right. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this AM stream. And I will uh, obviously leave this stream up for you guys to watch and share with others. Please do feel free to share. Feel free to keep commenting the comments. I will see them in real time. So if you guys comment something, it'll pop up on my iPhone. Let me know if somebody commented on this video. And if there's something I need to respond to, I will do so. Uh, I will be live again tomorrow night at 7 p.m. on Amazon. So if you're already following me, great. Just make sure you're, you know, you're following and you hit that notification and you'll see what we're doing tomorrow night. And uh, I'm going to see if there's something else I can find around here that we can also demo uh, with this laser maybe tomorrow as well. But I did say I did have these little pieces of metal that you guys see here. So, you know, if you guys got some ideas or some things that I can laser engrave on these little uh, scrap pieces of, uh, I'm assuming this is aluminum. So let me know uh, down in the comments or send me a DM and uh, I will definitely, definitely be checking it out. But until then, my lovelies, y'all know it's time for me to wrap it up. It's time for me to get back, back into this coffee this morning because... It's going to be a long day.